Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. Today we are going to see a case of acute appendicitis. A middle-aged male patient came with severe right lower abdominal pain. Let's see what we have got on ultrasound. Here you can see the right iliac fossa showing a blind-ended distended non-compressible tubular structure of intestinal origin. You can see the gut signature present. The structure is connected to adjacent cecum. There is no significant collection adjacent to this structure. You can see a hyperechoic fat stranding surrounding it. So this blinded and non-compressible tubular structure is the vermiform appendix, which appears to be dilated here, indicating the acute appendicitis. Here is the magnified view. I am trying to assess the wall to exclude any perforation and you can see there is no feature of perforation. If there was perforation then you would see a gap within this ecogenic layer with adjacent collection. We have cases of appendicular perforation in our YouTube channel so don't forget to check them. Now when you see the appendix as distended on high frequency linear transducer don't forget to check them also with the curvilinear transducer. This will help understand how the appendix looks with low frequency ultrasound. Here you can see the curvilinear transducer view. You can see this blinded tubular appendix connected to adjacent cecum with surrounding fat stranding is well visualized. Here's the picture. You can see this is the appendix appears to be distended with surrounding fat stranding in longitudinal and transverse sections. Here's the measurement. It was non-compressible and the measurement was around 10 mm. Here's the curvilinear transducer view. We can see the appendix here also. So in summary, a blinded and distended non-compressible tubular structure of intestinal origin connected to adjacent cecum with presence of gut signature and surrounding ecogenic fat layer is noted at the right iliac fossa indicating acute appendicitis. Now the take home message. If you see any localized collection adjacent to an inflamed appendix then you should assess carefully by magnifying the field of view to exclude any gap within the ecogenic outer wall of the appendix which will be present in case of perforation. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.